I'm sitting here. I had fun beating the Russians. So what do I do? I go watch oh Rocky IV. Hey, what? Man. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Oh, Holy shit. Oh. What the fuck what just happened? Look at this. Episode 100 the biggest the wrestling hater of them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. It's just easy to make fun of. <laughs> it's low-hanging fruit. I don't really hate pro wrestling, but it's low-hanging fruit. I love <laughs> it, it, man. Well, it's an exciting time. We've talked about pro wrestling a lot on your podcast and uh, more and more stuff's just crazy you got Ronda now in WWE Brock going over and you had, you just had to deal with Brock in DC the other day yeah it was crazy I got uh, Dallas Diamond Page coming on my podcast no oh, shit what? oh, oh. Be a weeks. couple weeks yeah. he's I've, amazing I've lost uh, close to 100 pounds using uh, DDP yoga as a uh, basis for what it is that I do when I work out it's super legit He's okay. real. He, he really does good yoga. He knows his shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Now, you, you watched pro wrestling as a kid, right? Oh, huge. Huge yeah. fan. From the time I was a little kid, Jimmy Superfly Snooker yeah. and Bob Backlund and all yeah. that. I loved it. We used yeah. to watch it every day. We used to pretend to be pro wrestlers when we were in high school. Of course. Like, slamming hey. each other, knock each other into locker rooms and shit. Oh, and yeah. Guys would jump on you. <laughs> Superfly off the top rope. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's just a phase in boyhood. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Jumping off. Yeah. So what? Okay. So what? What? What was the cutoff point? Because we all sort of lost Anybody. it. Yeah. Yeah. Started yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting laid, and I was like, "Look, this is a hindrance, not a help. This is a problem. Chicks catch you putting leather masks on and knee-high boots, and they're like, what in the fuck are you doing? Like, I'm a fan. <laughs> Chicks aren't into that. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I'm doing it all wrong. On the ones you're trying to fuck. If you're trying to fuck ones that are just, yeah, 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 I'll fuck you. If they're just desperate, like, yes, let's do it. Those girls will fuck you. Leather masks. Yeah. You can have gloves on. Catcher's mitts. But if you want to <laughs> fuck the girls that are difficult to fuck, it seems like pro wrestling gets in the way. It yeah. really does. The ones who like it, like girls who are pro wrestling, for, not girls who tolerate it, but girls that are fans. Ooh, mm. you don't want to. They're an interesting breed. They're crazy bitches. They wear the same <laughs> shit. They wear the same shit that that you want to wear when you go to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you never get away from them. No, I'll come. Like what? What do you mean you come? It's WrestleMania. I'll come. And we're having a party over Tony's house. No, no, no. I'm coming. Like they come. You can't tell any real stories. You always gotta go. You remember when that? Whatever. We'll talk later. What do you mean we'll talk later? I'm here. I'm one of the guys. Let's talk now. We've literally experienced this more than once at Tony's house. Dude, it's not real. It's a goddamn Trojan horse. Girls don't really like pro wrestling. Like, guys don't really want to be a feminist. Yeah. They want to be a feminist because it's a gateway to some pussy mm. that they wouldn't get yeah. normally. And it's not even a lot of pussy. It's a very tiny amount under perfect circumstances. And usually yeah. that doesn't even pan out. That's the same way with girls that like pro wrestling. We'll fuck you anyway. Yeah. You hate pro yeah, wrestling. Yeah, yeah, we would yeah. fuck you. Right? Yeah. That's what's happening. They put put the fucking t-shirt on. <laughs> WWE, I'm in. Like, I would have fucked you anyway. Yeah, dude, this yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I, I, I'll take the shirt. <laughs> you wear the same size as most yeah, of the girls. I mean, I like fit in that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wrestling burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly what we do here, shit on Matt. Yo, this room is dope now. They got uh, all the uh, sound deadening uh, on yeah. the wall. Yeah, they've they really done it right. Yeah, but I missed the logo. They should keep the logo. I don't know what here. they did with that. They keep it out there for the Argus Maybe show. It, so yeah. it's behind the couch when uh, it talks to people. So they can make it. Get another one, Argus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've been here long enough. <laughs> we work this place just for you, bitch. But that logo should be right here or something. It should be in the room. Yeah, yeah it dude. Room. It used to be right yeah. behind the pony there. Could somebody tape it to the ceiling? What are the notes on the ceiling? Yeah, they didn't really finish I the lampshade, no I don't think. It looks like somebody's bad set list. Right? Yeah. It says the death of Selena. Oh, boy. This is not are good. That might be like some haunted shit if you read it back. A demon comes out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that script. Look at all that stuff. Yeah, I see... I Dead babies. That's like sluts. a crazy person's body, like tattooed shit. Like, oh yeah, it's like one of Boone's shirts. I was just about to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a really fucked up girl would have that tattooed on her rib cage. <laughs> All those things. The death of Selena. The important moments uh, in my life. Exactly. Important pivotal moments. They're all I wrote them in script. <laughs> <laughs> the tattoos. It's just all like failed premises. It's actually okay. what's yeah. tattooed on the Undertaker's back. I was gonna write it in henna, but I was like, "Fuck uh, this! This is real to me. Uh, <laughs> we need to be able to read this." Uh, oh man! Well, fucking a, dude! What a surprise! I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it's amazing. Super How long exciting. Do, I do this for? I gotta. We'll be going for a while, but you, yeah, if you got to step yeah, out at any point, please out. do. All right, 
I'm, cause I'm going up real soon in the main room in uh, the um, you, Tripoli show. Are you doing it? You doing uh, first I'm not doing one? Tripoli show. I'm doing the OR. What time are you up? Uh, 10.45. Yeah. Right on. So, I mean, you guys got any questions for Joe here? Well, or- I mean, I guess one of the interesting things that I guess we could talk about is, like, is it? Are you, does it surprise you that Brock Lesnar does what he does? Like, that he is this crossover thing? Is he, is he you know, you're, like, you know, one of the, obviously, the main people of the UFC, you know, that they think when people think of the UFC, you're a thing that they, you know know about and, the, and you know the game you know everything about it like you know all the martial arts does it surprise you that Brock does that or are you surprised no, that not him. people don't do it or no he's different than most people first of all he was a legit national champion amateur wrestler like world class gigantic huge athlete and he did win the world title he knocked out Randy Couture mm-hmm. he won the title he defended against Frank Mir and beat the shit out of him you know he beat Shane Carwin and it, it, he's like he's legit man across the board He's a beast of a man. Yeah. And uh, he feels like that diverticulitis that he had, he yeah. had 12 inches of his colon removed. It was a serious, serious condition. To, and he fought with diverticulitis. So he feels like some of even his best fights, he was fighting at a fraction of what he's capable of. And he feels like this is his last shot. This is his last hurrah. And Cain Velasquez is basically out of the picture, at least for now, with some serious back injuries. And Cain is actually talking about doing WWE yeah. now. He's even been meeting with mm-hmm. them. And, you know, Brock wants to fight one more time at least. And he thinks he could beat DC for the title. And they're going to give him a straight shot to the title, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Especially yeah. since his last fight pissed hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last Let's fight give him a fight. title shot. That's kind of fucking title <laughs> shot. They're like rewarding people for pissing hot. Yeah. You know, so he's eligible in January of 2019. That's when he's eligible to fight. So they're thinking uh, it might be like the next card after the New Year's card. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, he's, he's eligible January 9th. So they might make a, they either might not do a New Year's card or they might make a New Year's card and then have the Brock fight a week later. Whoa. God damn. Or Can two I ask weeks, you depending upon the schedule. Uh, like uh, WWE's plan, uh, what they're talking about now is in their storylines is having Brock take the WWE title into his next fight. Like, what do you w- think? Like about? walk in with it? Yeah, like he wants to <laughs> defend the WWE. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Title How's that going to go over? <laughs> <laughs> against Cormier <laughs> wearing his thing. <laughs> Why not? Look, man, if we're gonna look, the whole thing is just a money grab. Right, yeah. it's just it's just trying to get as many people to watch this as humanly possible, yeah. and that's a good way to do it. You know, yeah. what I mean, just just say fucking go for it. But it, the lines are very blurry, right? And uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, the lines between pro wrestling and MMA got super blurry. The point where I had a, I had a Instagram a text that Tony sent me. I asked you first, but yeah. I'm like, I got to Instagram this because you said, dude, that was a little too WWE even for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I put the text up on Instagram and was like, this is hilarious. It was. The DC Brock thing, once, you know, I mean, there's moments, because also Brock's so good at it that it's almost like, well, is it planned or isn't it planned? Because Brock's so good at it. But yeah. then DC was sort of, you know what I mean? Like, you could sort of tell, like, D- it was yeah, like planned, but it was planned. Oh, like, yeah, his DC whole team was, was smiling. smiling ear to ear the whole time. It's one of those things where, well, that's the crazy part, is that they planned it for if DC won. It's almost like they DC said no, to no, Brock. No, 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 no. No, if Stipe won, Stipe was going to do the same thing. Really? Oh, scoop! Oh, New scoop. That was the, deep, dude. the scoop was whoever won, Brock was going to challenge. Wow! So Brock was there for whoever won. So DC was ready, Stipe was ready. They're both aware that if they won, Brock was going to come into the octagon afterwards and challenge him. <laughs> wow. Now, was it going to be because DC challenged Brock? No, no, no. This is what's supposed to happen. I was supposed to interview DC. DC was just supposed to say, "This is amazing, huge accomplishment," and I was supposed to say, "Congratulations!" And, and Lesnar's music there's hits. There's a man who would like to fight you next, and he would like to talk to you right now. And we're going to bring him into the octagon, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Brock Lesnar. And everybody would have went ape shit. Yeah. But he decided to call out Brock Lesnar first. 
Right. He just decided to use his thing, his yeah. time to. He was so happy, right? You know, he just yeah. knocks yeah. out Steve Bates, yeah. like decided oh, he was dude. just feeling it. Yeah. And he just went with it and decided to call out yeah. Brock Lesnar right there and then. Makes sense. But when Brock Lesnar walked in and then shoved him backwards, you want you just go whoa, right. you know, like force. Who's stop this guy. Like, yeah. no one's going to stop him. There's all these security people yeah. that are like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah. The security people are all these, like, little out-of-shape people. <laughs> like, oh, man. And he's just a fucking Goliath. He's right. running through. I mean, he really is a spectacle of a man. Yeah, when you're yeah. around him, you really get a sense of how fucking massive he is. I didn't realize how tall he was until standing next to you guys like he's that. So, and he was wearing cowboy boots on purpose. <laughs> I think he wears them all the time, but he's got a fat-ass heel, so he yeah. could stand up even. He's already six. Whatever the fuck he yeah. is, six three or six four. But then he puts those goddamn heels on. And he's yeah. towered above everybody. Out of all the giants yeah. that come out in the WWE, when, you, when I feel like when I've seen it live, there's all these massive people, seven feet tall, four hundred pounds. But there, there's definitely a difference when Brock comes out. You know, usually towards the end of a main event, because he always runs back and forth into the ropes a few times, and so just bad. watching this. Gigantic specimen just sprint. He's Did you ever see the bit I used to have about him? Uh uh-uh. uh. I used to have a whole routine about him. Really? I say, I'm not worried that Brock Lesnar would fuck me. What I'm really worried is that he'd use me as a condom to fuck something. <laughs> <much bigger. laughs> Why are we going to the loo? Shut the fuck up! Brock makes decisions! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's from the Denver one? No, no, but way before that. It was uh, Atlanta. Oh, okay. Everything was Brock Smash. Like, everything was (laughs) Brock Smash! (laughs) Yeah. With that line. Man, I love that. That dude's terrifying. He makes love to women. Like that? One woman. That visual scares the shit. Or what's her name? wrestler. Yeah, Sable. Sable. She's very Sable. Sable. Oh, it is Sable. You need a a fucking stout woman. Strong genetics. Oh, yeah. I gotta go, boys. (laughs) My man, appreciate you, You're the man, brother. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for blessing the 100th episode, dude. Joe Rogan, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Episode 100. Pro wrestling fans, relax. (laughs) (laughs) There it is. Jumped on even me, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bridging the gap. Dude. Boom. Mr. UFC. We-